Hello everyone, welcome again to LIS 2360 Web App Development with me Muhammad Prabhu Bowo, your instructor. In this video, I'm going to explain about how to set up a development environment for web app development. So in this video, we will set up development environment so you can create edit project files for your lab assignment. For lab assignment in Zybooks, you need to access it through Canvas directly by clicking on the link provided in Canvas. So for example, let's do the lesson 3 lab, lab activity. So for example, you want to work on a lesson 3 lab. Click on the link on Canvas that will redirect you to Zybooks. It will grade your assignment automatically and transfer it to Canvas. So please be aware, you need to click on the link in Canvas. If you go directly from Zybooks, your results will not be graded, so it is important go from Canvas in order for your assignment to be graded. Once you click on the link, the assignment page will appear. So this is Zybook page that is linked to Canvas. So how do we get started? All of the assignments will have instructions, so you need to carefully read all, all of the instructions and most of the lab assignments have downloadable files so download these files to your local machines in order to work on it, edit it and you can submit the files to Zybooks once you edit it, you can upload and submit through Zybooks page so you can choose on the file or you can drag drop the files here so this tutorial may be different between web browsers and operating systems. However, even though it's different, the difference is not that much. So the basic workflow is that you download the files and you edit with the development environment. Once you finished, you can upload the files to Zybooks page. Previously in attendance activity, I gave description on various development environment. There are a lot of development environments you can use, but in this video, I will demonstrate how to use AWS Cloud9. If you use other development environments such as Atom or Komodo, you will work on local machine. But in AWS Cloud9, you will need to upload the file to the cloud-based workspace. AWS Cloud9 is free, so once you log in, you will be taken uh, to AWS Management Console. And in the service, look for Cloud9. You can search Cloud9. If this is your first time, it may display blank space that you can create a new environment. So I have set a environment for this course, but I will demonstrate how to create a new environment. So let's set the name for the environment. Uh, let's click on next step. Let's Choose the default settings for the environment and click on next step and click on create environment. So it may take a while for Cloud9 to process it. Let's wait. While waiting, you can check the file downloaded from Zybooks. So if you're if you are using a Mac OS a machine. You can just double click or if you use Windows, you can right click on the mouse and click on extract. But zip files is basically a compressed file, so everything is inside the file, the zip file. So this is the default appearance of the development environment in Cloud9. You can customize it in the settings according to your preference. For example, you can you can customize the colors, the themes. So 
So in development environment, file management is important. So file management is important to get everything organized. You can create folders, for example, all of your lessons. So I will demonstrate how to how to create a folder. So readme file is basically uh, the instruction. You can delete it if you want. So for to create a folder, you can right click and new folder. For this video, I will create lesson three, and I will create for all of the lessons folder in order to make it to be uh, better organized. You can drag drop. You can delete if you don't want it. You can drag drop. For example, the lesson six is located under the lesson five folder, but I don't want it, so I can drag drop to the parent or the to the root directory. So create. lesson 8 so these folders are important to get organized so your files doesn't get cluttered with other files with other lessons so for example if you want to go to lesson 3 you can upload all the files to less to this folder this is how you get better organized environments so all of your projects files are not mixed once you created folders, click on the specific folder that you are currently working. You can upload the files here. So um, in this video, we extracted the the left files for lesson three. So I click download, and these are the files. So to upload the files to Cloud9, you can do several things. So you can drag drop the files to the folders of uh, Cloud9. So for example, I drag drop the files into lesson three folder. Or you can or you can click on file, upload local files. So basically they are the same. So if you click on file on upload local files, it will let you to choose the files. Or folders you can also drag drop so there are multiple options you can do you can drag drop or you can access the upload menu the file menu so to work on the project what I recommend you to do is to split the display so the first one for for your project file if you are working on a one monitor you can do this way cloud9 is web based you can split the display into two so the left side is for the instruction and the right side is for your development environment if you use multiple monitors you can it's more flexible you can put the uh, put the instruction on the other monitor but if you are working on the one, on one monitor only like i'm doing right now you can split the display so let's see the instruction so for the lab assignment you need to follow all the instructions mentioned in the Zai books and please be aware that it is case sensitive so make sure everything is according to the instruction so for example we have to edit the index.html we can open it so this is the file that we will working on for this assignment so we need to read all the instructions so for the first instruction we need to Create a title tag with content, five things to know about real snakes and their baby. We can create we can write title five things to know about real snakes and their 
babies and you can also adjust the width of the window so this is for the first instruction so make sure everything is according to the instruction including the, the case so the gray icon means it's not safe you can click on file and click save so green one means it is safe so make sure you save it regularly and do the other instruction for example ua logo as img tag with src attribute so R src means source containing university logo dot png and alt attribute containing logo of the university of arizona so for example img src source the file name is university logo.png the alt logo of the university of arizona so make sure all of the instructions are followed so for this demonstration i will do only two of the instructions so after you complete the instruction it is good to preview it so to to see the results of your work so to see the results of your work you can click on preview preview the file index.html so this is the preview of the index.html want to see the title so we can preview it to external to the new window you can click on the icon the top corner right corner it will open to the new window so we can see the title of the html file and also the image so once you finish with all of the instructions mentioned in the zybox you can save click file and save and then you can download the file or you can download the project <coughs> you can download the file click on index html click download so it is also important to read the instruction so in this lab assignment Zybooks require you to upload the index.html only and it is also important to remember where you download the file so in default it is saved in downloads folder and as you can see here the index.html is downloaded to the to my local machine and be careful when you download it multiple times so for example i download it again when you click save it it usually added a numeral so index uh, one here so this is the old file you need to delete first or you can rename it index.html and the file management is also important in your local machine so we created folders according to license so it is also important to do the same in your local machine so for example i created a folder lis 2360 and so for better file management you can create a new folder for each lesson so for example and every time you download a file you can drag the file to each lesson for example this is for lesson 3 and once you finish you did all of the instructions mentioned in zybooks so it is time for you to upload the or submit the file so you can drag drop the index file to zybooks or you can also choose click on choose on hard drive and choose the file that you were working on so for example lesson 3 index.html you can click open and you can click submit for grading so once you upload it you will get feedback from zybooks so for this uh, for this lab assignment i did one and two but i haven't done the rest of the instructions so zybook will let you know that i'm missing these things so this feedback lets you know it tells you that what needs to be fixed and since i haven't done the the rest of the instructions so of course i haven't because i haven't finished this part so it tells me that I'm missing this part and in order to get a perfect score I have to resubmit and edit re-edit the file so you can always resubmit for better grade you can edit on the file and then follow all the instructions again so for example for h1 h1 five things to know about little snakes and their babies and then once you follow all the instructions you can click save 
and re-download the file and resubmit to Zybooks. To resubmit to Zybooks, you can click on the remove on the previous file that you submitted and then click again on choose on hard drive and click open and click again for submit for grading. So now for unit 3, I have done it so it will create a checklist. So make sure you need to get a perfect score. For example, it tells you this, the grade that you get. For example, in this one, in this assignment, I got three out of ten. So it is important you get a perfect score because you can always resubmit for the assignment. So make sure you get ten out of ten. That's all the tutorial for the setting up development environment, especially in Cloud9. So if you have any question, don't forget to reaching out to me or RTA. Thank you very much for listening, and see you again next time.